an introduction to chat gpt this is an introductory video to chat gpt and all of its functions for beginners so what will you learn in this video firstly you will learn how to create an account on chat gpt what exactly chat gpt is and all of its functions let's start go to google and type chat gpt there are going to be several links that come up and note that chat gpt is developed by open ai so this is the first link and you can just click on that and you'll see it'll take you to this page click on try chat gpt so it'll take you to the website chat gpt and here you can either log in if you already have an existing account or you can sign up. I do have an existing account, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be signing up with a brand new account. So I'm going to click on sign up. And it's going to take me here. You can either you can also sign up like sign in using Google, your Google account, your Microsoft soft account or your Apple account. But I'm just going to type in my email address. and create a password so they'll send a verification link to your email id i'm going to go to my email id and click on the email and here i'm going to verify the email here i'll have to add my first name and uh, add your phone number you get a code to your phone number after you put in your phone number and this is the code that i got so here we go this is your chat gpt home page after you create an account verify your account and all of those things now ChatGPT is basically an advanced language model that's developed by OpenAI. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know before you start using ChatGPT. So this is basically a beginner's guide to using ChatGPT. So firstly, what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI-powered conversational agent designed to generate human-like responses to text-based queries. So I'm going to show you this further into the video, like how exactly this works. It's also based on a GPT 3.5 architecture, which enables it to understand what you're saying and generate responses accordingly. Furthermore, I'm going to tell you certain important things that you need to know about ChatGPT before you're using it. So ChatGPT is for free and is majorly used for research purposes. There are times when the responses that um, ChatGPT generates is false or misleading. ChatGPT also constantly collects data. So the conversations you have with ChatGPT are collected and reviewed. Also know that it is very important for you to not share sensitive information in your conversations on ChatGPT, such as your passwords, your bank uh, details, your address, etc. This is for your own safety and security purposes. Um, your feedback is also actually important to ChatGPT in order to improvise the quality of responses that it generates to your queries and questions. Now, this is the sidebar. And this is where you type in your inputs. So anything you want to ask ChatGPT, you type here. We'll get into that later on in the video. Then this is for basic settings. You just go here and there's a thing where there are three dots. You click on that. There's a help in questions um, column if you, want, if you have any queries. And there's a settings part. So this is general settings. General settings basically are just about the theme of chat gpt if you want dark you can have it dark if you want light you can keep it light i prefer dark so i'm gonna keep it in dark you can also clear chats if you have many right now we don't have any on this so you can't i'll show you how to do it when we do have a lot of chats 
and then there's also data control so if you don't want your chat history to be collected or saved you can always turn this off but i do not mind it so i'm going to keep it on then there are other options which are a little bit more advanced so we won't be getting into that in this video then you can also delete your account if you don't want to have have your account on chat gpt so that's pretty much that now let's move on how does chat gpt work so chat gpt basically uses deep learning techniques particularly a transformer neutral network architecture to process and generate text it's trained on a massive amount of data from the internet that includes books articles and websites allowing it to learn patterns grammar and um, other context now there are some examples of questions here if you want to type it now we'll come to the capabilities and limitations of chat gpt so the capabilities are firstly it can perform a wide range of language related tasks such as answering questions providing explanations giving suggestions um creating conversational dialogue it offers summaries it also assists with um, language translations etc it can generate text in multiple languages note that uh, like as i've mentioned before chat gpt has the ability to collect data and remember the conversations you are having with it it also provides corrections um, and like follow up corrections and follow up information if you want there are also times when um it declines on it declines requests that are inappropriate but note that sometimes it can produce harmful instructions harmful things which have to be ignored so now we come to the limitations so like i've mentioned before it has it can generate incorrect responses it can also uh, produce harmful instructions which are to be you know ignored also it's important to understand that uh, sometimes it has limited knowledge so it does not possess real time learning abilities and lacks specific knowledge beyond um september 2021 So now let's start using ChatGPT. So when you type out a question and you click on this, you get two parts of a prompt. So the first part is this, and this is what we've prompted, and this is basically the output that we get. And when you want to start a new chat, you do it by clicking on this. So now let's say on the new chat, I want to type. and i get this but i want to have the entire chat to myself without this sidebar i can just click on this and hide the sidebar and when i want uh, to generate a new chat or want to see the old conversations that i have had i can just click on this and the old previous conversations that i have had will be visible here first we can either click on one of the examples and see how it generates a response so i'm going to click on got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday and i will click on go let's see what it generates it's generating a bunch of responses here as you can see now this is a whole response if you like the response this is how you give feedback you either click on this or this so let's say i like the response i click on this and i can say and submit the feedback i can also copy this by doing this and i can paste it wherever i want to and let's say i want to generate a new chat i can click on new chat and i'm going to come up to a brand new chat this is a, this will become an older one now so here i'm going to type out a question for chat gpt like for example uh when did india become an independent nation and now we'll see what kind of response chat gpt generates so now it's generated response now for example i am not satisfied with this response or i want it to be phrased in a different way i can regenerate the response 
and here you can also give feedback if this response is better for you worse for you or if you think it's the same i'm just going to say it's better and if i want to regenerate more responses phrased in a different in various different ways i still can until unless it totally runs out of different combinations of responses that it can come up with it'll keep generating responses for you and here i have generated six responses and it did take its own time so chatgpt can usually like it goes through all of the data that it has and it provides you a solid response now i can also further ask questions about the same topic or have a straight up conversation with it like now it says history even mark the end mm, so i can ask questions like but when did And it's going to give you a further response based on what it is told you before. Like I've mentioned, it has a track of the conversation. It collects the conversations it ha it's having with you and it reviews it and further gives you information about the same. So now let's say I want to start a new chat or more of something that's more of a mathematical nature. Now I want to know what 5 times 70 is. It'll give me a response that is 5 times 70 is 350. Now, let me try and have a proper conversation with ChatGPT on the same topic. So, sometimes you can mislead ChatGPT in this way because it's not um very good at mathematical equations like as you can see here it is agreeing to what i'm saying although we know that 5 into 70 is 350 i told it that it can be 320 and it agree it's agreeing with me which is actually false this is what i mean when i say uh the responses generated by chat gpt can often be misleading or false so in this case, you can see that it's agreeing with me and it's giving me an incorrect response just because I misled it a little bit. So this is how ChatGPT works in general. This is the basics you need to know. And uh, also know that as a user, it's crucial to exercise critical thinking and also to like verify the inf information that is generated by ChatGPT. Like for example, in this case, Although it, it it did generate the right response in the first scenario, or the second you misled it a little bit, it changed its, its response. So this happens quite often when uh, the first response itself can be misleading. So it's best to verify the responses that it's generating. So the mod the model should not be considered as an absolute authority and its responses should be evaluated very carefully before accepting them as factual or reliable. So it's not exactly like the most reliable source. So before you like accept it as a factual or reliable source, do verify it. Also, uh, it takes precautions to secure user data and maintain strict privacy policy, but as I've mentioned before, it's very important for you to avoid sharing sensitive, personal or confidential information using this, like when you're using ChatGPT in general. So the other thing about ChatGPT is uh, OpenAI is actively working on improving and refining ChatGPT on a constant basis. So when you provide feedback that is either, like positive or negative. So now this is a positive feedback, like nice. But if you do give a negative feedback, like wrong answer, that's still good because you're giving it some sort of feedback, right? So, yeah, so see, this is this is you like giving it feedback and because of the feedback that you have given, it's correcting itself. It's going um, on and like it's identifying and uh, like evaluating and addressing the issues that it has and it's enhancing the performance of the system 
Also, the terms of use are when you're using ChatGPT, users need to comply with OpenAI's terms and services, or terms of services and usage policies. So these may be this these may include guidelines on appropriate content, ethical usage, and prohibited activities. Like I've mentioned before, that there are times when if you do ask prohibited things, if you do ask inappropriate things, it might it might give you responses. So it's best to ignore such things and not perform such things on ChatGPT. Also, uh, remember that ChatGPT is a powerful tool, and it's but it's still an AI and has its limitations so it's recommended to like exercise critical thinking uh fact check of information when you're using it and also to use the system extremely responsibility re responsibly also going to show you how the clearing of chat works so now let's say i go here i can go here and click on clear conversation and all the conversations that i've had so far which is three will get cleared so here we go Like here, see, all the conversations have been cleared. So this is basically how you can use ChatGPT. I hope this video was helpful. It was a small beginner's guide to the OpenAI, OpenAI's ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching.